Good morning. Happy Sunday. I am so excited to be here as always. I can't believe it's Sunday already. The week went by and I literally blinked and the week was gone so quick. Barndy, good morning. Hi, Susan. Good morning. If you guys see me looking down, the reason why I'm looking down is because my laptop is right here. and That's what is streaming this live. And then I can see also your guys' names pop up. Nancy! Angie! I can see, I get really excited. So if you see me looking down, that's the reason why. I can see the chat over here, basically. How are you guys doing? Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Karen. Hi, Jenna, Lynn, Daisy, Alice, Carla, Nancy again. I missed you guys. I hope you had a really great week. Um, it was such a busy week. I'm happy we're here to catch up and we're going to have fun today. Not like we don't always have fun, but we, we have a new palette. I say we, cause we're going to test this out together. I picked up the new Danessa Myricks groundwork blooming romance palette. So where's the other one? The original one. Let me just show you. My original one is uh, very beat up at this point. It's very well loved. That's the original one. It's all neutrals, all neutrals, all like essential shades. And the new one that she came out with is quite gorgeous. I cannot wait to do a look with this. I can't wait. I've been waiting. This palette probably came out, what, like a, maybe a, a close to a month ago at this point. Um, I've been waiting to use this, or sorry, I've been waiting to buy this until the Sephora savings event started. So I did get this with 20% off. I picked this up on the first day. On Friday, I ran into a Sephora. And I got a couple other goodies too that I'm going to share with you in this video. And then the rest I'm going to save for another video, like basically do, I'm going to do like a fun unboxing type video or like a, a haul, if you will. So let me show you what this palette looks like. So beautiful packaging, really beautiful packaging. And oh, Kara Young, finally catch you in my lives. Welcome. So this is the palette in all its glory, all fresh and new and not <laughs> disturbed with any brushes. No, there's no, nothing going on. It's like, there's nothing like a fresh new palette. They look so beautiful. They're just, you almost kind of want to preserve them for as long as you can, but I'm not, cause I'm going to dive right in and create a look with this palette. So I'm really excited. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Um, I have like, I mean, I have some some shades that are jumping out at me more than others. Like I'm definitely drawn to this right here, this one, this one, and that one. Like these, I mean, they all look beautiful. They, they all look beautiful. We're not gonna, you can't go wrong with this palette. I have a feeling. So another fun thing that I picked up on Friday when I picked up some stuff during the the first day of the savings event. Um, I picked up the new Say Concealer. This was highly <laughs> influenced. This was a highly influenced purchase, I should say, from Lisa J and Allie Glines. They both love this concealer. So I, this was like one of the first things I went in there and I grabbed it. They had the, the shade that I picked up is five and that was like the last one they had in stock. So I felt like it was meant to be. So we're gonna be using this today. The new Say Concealer. And what is this actually called? Slip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer. That is the formal name of it. And last thing I want to show you that I picked up, I had, like I said, I have a whole bag of stuff that I picked up on Friday. These are just the items I want to create a look with for you all today. I picked up the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush from Rare Beauty in the shade Hope. And this was also the last one in Hope at the Sephora that I went to. So I also felt like this was meant to be. And also, side note, one of the girls at Sephora was like, are you Nikki? And I was like, yes. And it was so sweet. I, I, um, I probably turned like bright red when she recognized me, but <laughs> cause I just can't help it. But it was so sweet that she like, you know, was excited to see me. Like, honestly, it made my day. So, um, shout out to that girl. I didn't catch her name and I feel so bad about it, but I'll be back to that Sephora and I'm sure I'll make friends with her. Like I have the rest of the, the team at the Sephora that I go to. Um, let's get started. Let me stop talking away. Now I do want to use a new product that I received recently in PR and I'm still testing out. I'm still getting like familiarizing myself with it. It's the milk makeup cloud glow primer. This is supposed to brighten your skin while priming it. And it's supposed to give you like a long lasting glow and hydration. 
I'm putting it on top of my sunscreen and this is the third time now that I've used this. It comes with like a pump. It, it reminds me a lot of like hand sanitizer that comes in a pump. So the way I like to put this on my skin is in more of a patty motion and less of a rubbing. Because I noticed the first time that I used it, I rubbed it really aggressively on top of my um, sunscreen that I was wearing and it, it lifted and kind of peeled up. So I don't want to do that. I want to avoid it. So I'm just going to kind of lightly tap in. And we're going to get this look going. And I'm going to try to save like the last 10 minutes of this live to like dedicate to answering questions. So if I don't answer them throughout the, the chat or throughout the live, I will, I promise you I would dedicate like 10 to 15 minutes um, to just answer your questions. So if you have a burning question and you want to make sure that I see it, maybe just save it for like the last 10, 15 minutes and ask me it then. And then we'll, we'll sit down and we're like designate the time. So let's get some foundation on. I am going to be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. The shade that I have is light medium 14. It's a bit on the warm side but we make it work because it's a beautiful foundation and we like to get our money's worth around here and uh we're gonna use a clean n17 is my last clean one of the week i'm shocked that i ended the week with a clean n17 usually by sunday i don't have a single clean brush in my possession but i managed to save one n17 so pr pretty proud of myself so you'll see this is gonna look pretty warm um, in comparison to my skin tone, but we make do because it's too late to exchange it. So we like to make do over here and not be wasteful. And there's ways that you can alter a foundation that's not quite the right undertone and you can manipulate it with bronzers, um, lighter concealers, things like that. So there's ways to work around it. Has anyone been shopping in the Sephora sale yet? I know it just started. I know we all probably don't need anything, but I also know us as a group and I know that we're gonna buy stuff no matter what. So not trying to push consumerism on all of you. And I know we have a ton of stuff, but I am just kind of curious, have you bought anything? And you can feel free to save your answer until like the end of this video where we're, where we're like sitting down for questions. But just wondering if you guys have like run out to buy anything specific. I'm really curious. Oh. Rihanna's washing her brushes right now. Ugh. I wish you could I wish we could wash them together so we're not lonely. Oh my god, Cheryl, thank you so much for the super thanks. So happy to see this get ready with me. I got the Danessa Marks palette. Oh, I hope you're loving it. I think it's a beautiful palette. And I think I missed a super thanks from Suzanne. Oh my gosh, Suzanne. You know, you're just so you guys are so generous. Thank you so much, Suzanne. I'm sorry I missed that. I was probably yakking away about primer when you sent that. So thank you so, so much. So I have other things to talk about, <laughs> like the influencer trip that I'm going on in one week. And I actually, that, right, that reminds me last Sunday, I announced on my, on my live, um, this influencer trip that I'm going on. I say influencer trip, but what I really mean by that is I'm going to, I'm going to a creator house. Um, and if you caught my live last weekend on Sunday, I announced what I'm doing. I'm basically going to be in a creator house with a bunch of other um, YouTube creators, incredibly talented YouTube creators. So if you caught that video, you already know what I'm talking about. But just to catch anyone up who missed it, next weekend, starting on Sunday, I'll be heading over to the creator house where I'm going to be staying with um, many different pe many people. I'll make sure I tag them all in this description box of this video once it goes live in case you missed it. Um, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait to start filming some videos with some amazing, amazing, talented creators on this space that I feel so fortunate to be in the company of. So that's going to be so exciting. I cannot believe that's already next weekend that it's going to be here. Um, my point in saying this also is I'm going to try to squeeze in a live on the next Sunday, even though I will be in Austin, I will not be in LA, I'll be in Austin. And I want to try to squeeze in a live and just catch up with you all and maybe create like a fun, like on the go makeup look. So hopefully I will see you there. But yeah, I cannot wait to 
to meet these people in real life because I feel like I already know them. We've been on a group chat for, um, gosh, I want to say like several months at this point. Yeah, probably like about two months at least. So I feel like I already know them on such a personal level and it's going to be really fun to like actually see them in person. Okay, foundation's on. Let's kind of move on. And I want to do a quick amount of bronzer using my LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer in the shade, is this Harmony? Yeah, Harmony. So we're going to do some sculpting. Oh my gosh, Nancy, thank you so much for the super thanks. Nancy has a really good question. The better question is, what didn't you buy? It's so nice to see you, Nikki. Oh, love you, Nancy. You are such a sweetheart and me and Mitch appreciate you all so much. So that's a great question, Nancy. Um, what didn't I buy? A good amount, a good amount, but uh, I am gonna plan my second trip to Sephora. Actually today, I'm gonna go to a different different Sephora that's not close to my house and pick up some very specific products. I'm gonna pick up some Tom Ford while I'm there and I wanna, I could do it online, I could purchase this stuff online, but I really want to see some of the shades that I'm debating on in person and swatch them because Tom Ford is very expensive, but I do plan on filming a full face of Tom Ford for my channel. This was brought on by you guys and I love the suggestion, love the idea. So I'm gonna be shopping for that today and hopefully getting um, the bulk of the product and uh, then hopefully filming it very, very soon. Let's switch over to my N15 brush, which is definitely not clean. It definitely has some bronzer residue from the week. I'm gonna push this bronzer into my cheek, just like that. And yes, it does mean that a full face of Tom Ford is coming up very, very soon. I also have a huge drugstore haul coming up very soon as well. I'll probably be filming it realistically when I get back from this Austin trip because um, it's probably gonna be at least a two probably be like a two day shoot for me, a two day film. And then like more than a five day, probably like a six or seven day edit. So just blending in that cream bronzer, getting some beautiful warmth going on. Cecily, wait, Cecily, Cecily. Oh my God. What? Thank you so much. Hey from wow, Norway. Oh my God. What time is it for you? Thank you so much for the super thanks. Oh, oh, for us, we sell on the Sephora sale. Do you know any European brands that you like? Oh my gosh, I have to think about that. Um, Kiko Milan or Kiko Milano, Kiko Milan. Love their stuff. I think they have incredible affordable products. I think that, you know, even without a sale, Kiko has amazing, amazing formulas to check out. And where they, I think they're based in Milan, I'm assuming. Uh, that's where I shop them. So, um, yeah, I'm so sorry you missed out on the sale, but I know your sale comes up at a different time than what it does for us in America. So you, you'll get there. You'll the, the products will be there. Don't you worry. Okay, let's move on to concealer. And I'm going to finally try out the Say Slip Tint in the shade 5. So this has a nice little doe foot applicator. We're going to go right in. I have been wanting to try this because of Lisa J and because of Alec Lines because they are loving this formula. And also I was really excited to try this because I did not like the original formula they have. This one from Say, this did not work for me in the slightest bit. So I have high hopes that this is gonna be different. So let's do our normal highlighting and concealing, which calls us the bird. It feels very thin. Like it feels like a very thin, lightweight formula, which I don't mind. I like kind of like more of a creamy consistency sometimes, like especially under my eyes, because I feel like if it's more liquid or loose in texture that it's not going to give me the amount of coverage I usually want. So, but I might be wrong. Who knows? I'm going to take a clean N16, even though I probably should have saved this for the cream. Oh, I have another one. Yay. Okay. I'm going to tap this in 
and start to give you my thoughts. So it's definitely feeling very thin still. Very thin, but it's a nice amount of coverage. I'm really happy with the shade that I picked out. Five is working really nice. <laughs> I know Mitch would call this the bird, like the way I highlight in certain areas. So funny. I'm going to blend out by this area of my face where I want to just kind of brighten a bit. I have a lot of shadows here. Um, Talia, I tried the Fenty Concealer and it didn't work for me. It was so drying under my eyes. Did you, okay, I hate to ask this, but did you get the original Fenty Concealer or the new one, like the We're Even Hydrating Concealer? Because I'm surprised if you got the new one and it feels dry under your eyes. I know the original one. I don't like and I don't prefer because that one does feel really dry for my under eyes even. So I'm wondering if you got the OG or if you got the new one. Try to let me know if you can. And I would love to suggest like th like proper hydration under your eyes first and then sealing it in with a little bit of moisturizer and then going in with the concealer. And that should hopefully help. Um, by the way, I just switched over to my N14. I'm going to tap the concealer in just and do like a very mini blend like that and then I'm going to let that kind of hang out and we're going to start kind of priming our eyes for the eye look feels nice though I have to say like that it looks really smooth we'll see how it wears I'm very curious how it's going to wear to be honest because I feel like say is just more of a natural brands like their marketing their aesthetic is more of like a natural um it gives them more natural vibe and typically considers that are from more natural brands like glossier just for example um and say i feel like they just don't work for my aesthetic and what i what i like for a concealer like if i'm going to buy a concealer i want it to i want it to conceal i want it to like work hard for me so i'm gonna let this part of my under eyes chill i'm gonna let it self set and dry down because i want it to have just more staying power. And I feel like since it is more of a watery consistency, I don't want to move too into too many different places that I don't want it to be in. So let's move on and let's break into the, the star of the show, the Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. So if you know, you know, the, the larger pans are creams along on the side or I'm sorry, right on the side of them are the uh, powder formulas that are in like a matching shade. Thank you so much, Reem, for the super thanks. Oh, I'm your favorite on YouTube. I'm honored to be your favorite on YouTube. That's a that's a big, bold statement. I am, what an honor. Thank you so much for the super thanks. Love, com love from Qatar. Wow, far away. Um, clean N16. Shockingly, I have a clean one. And I want to dip into... Hmm, how bold do we want to go is the question, my friends. How bold do we want to go? I kind of want to go bold. I kind of want to go, I kind of want to do bliss. Let's do, let's just go for it. Let's go with my gut and let's grab the cream side of bliss and uh, let's test it out. Oh yeah, this is going to be very pretty. So the creams, I noticed they do need to be set, um, like most creams anyway. If you don't properly set them, they will crease a bit, especially if you have oily eyelids like myself. So I'm going to do a thin amount of this darker shade first, kind of all over. Just like that. And... Um, Try to read some comments while I'm blending this, but it's probably too hard. <laughs> Stephanie says bold. Okay, I love it. I'm glad you agree, Stephanie. So working this into the crease with the longer bristles on my brush. It's a really pretty shade. I feel like this formula is a bit dry before you like kind of break that top layer and really work into the product and warm it up. So it is feeling a bit drier on my eyelids than my other palette, but probably because that other palette is really, really 
broken into. Like, it's, I broke it in, basically. Hmm. Okay, I want to switch my brush. I want to switch to a somewhat clean N13. And I want to layer a lighter shade now in the same cream formula in the crease. So let's now go for Allure. This one right here. It's like a soft mauve. I'm going to pick up as much as I can see. And I want to start to work this into the crease. Start to build up a look. Yeah, that's pretty. It's just kind of softening up the edges of that first shadow. There we go. Oof, that's pretty. Okay. Loving Allure. Like, loving Allure. That's really quite stunning. Okay, let's copy this eye the best we can. My very stubborn hooded eye. Okay, so my initial thought was like this palette felt a bit drier than the original one, but I again, I think it really just is because the other one is so, it's so used, it's so broken into that it's, it, you know, once you break that top cold layer of cream, with any cream products, you're left with like a more smooth, creamy formula underneath. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my concealer brush really quick and just kind of go over this area. I feel like I have a little too much product. Here we go. Okay, lots of buffing, lots of working. Trying to make them nice and even. That's such a pretty shade. Wow. <clears throat> I really like that. I'm not surprised though. This is like definitely my kind of shade. I love a good like soft mauve type tone. I'm switching to a different N13 that doesn't have the cream on it right now. Um, just kind of dusting off the excess shadow from a previous tutorial that I did. So I'm going to use this now to... I, you know, I kind of want to switch it up just a bit. I want to dip into this powder in, on this side. So I, this is where we were at. We were in the Allure Cream. Now we're going to dip into Smitten, but the powder form. And I want to use this to soften, but also set my crease. Add a bit more blush tone to it. Wow. That's really pretty. Really pretty, okay. Love it. All right, same brush. I'm gonna now pick up, let's pick up just a bit of Allure and the powder. And I'm gonna lay this on its side and tap on that shade to lock in that first, all those two cream shadows that we have on the eyelid. We'll use this to kind of set it into place and intensify it a bit too. That's really pretty. I love, I love mobs too. I think mobs are just so beautiful. And remember, I promise you I will dedicate 10 to 15 minutes of just answering questions after I get a nice, somewhat of a nice look on that's uh, complete. So. I know I'm missing a lot. I know. Just trying to work hard to get like a nice look going on for you guys. And then we will dedicate that time for questions. Promise you, promise you. I'm going to switch to my N11 brush, my ultimate angle brush. This makes, uh, makes for a very quick and efficient, fast eyeliner. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to first dip into the cream. Um, and I want to dip into Evermore. This deep eggplant this is so stunning. I'm going to pick up the cream first. I'm going to coat my brush 
And no surprise here, I am going to do a bit of a wing because that's just what I prefer on my eye shape. Nothing too wild, but I want like a soft wing effect. So I'm putting down the cream first, okay? I'm going to layer the powder on top to lock it in. But the cream is going to act like my base. Kind of like how you see me on my channel, I use a uh, pencil eyeliner first. I blend it out and then I set, set it with a powder. Same idea. Carrie Kelly, oh, thank you for the By Terry recommendation. Uh, for powder for me, it's been a game changer in my makeup routine. Carrie, that's amazing to hear. I, I'm not surprised because that powder is a magical, magical powder. I know it's expensive, but it is so worth the money. Thank you for the super things. You are so thoughtful and so kind. I'm just thrilled that you love the recommendation that it's working for your skin type. It's an amazing, amazing powder. There's a reason why it's always in my pro kit. Okay. I'm going to switch to this eye. Look how pretty that little soft liner is. I mean, this is a this is quite a beautiful color story. Danessa Myricks really knocked it out of the park with this color story. It is beautiful. She's just so innovative, you know. Such a, a true artist with the things and the formulas that she comes up with. She's such a true artist. That's pretty. Now, did any of you pick up the original one, like the original Groundwork palette? Did you like it? Did you have a hard time figuring out how to use it and all those things? Save your answers or save your questions for the end, but just kind of want to get that conversation going because I think um, I had I did receive some feedback about the original Groundwork palette when I first picked it up. I was using it a lot in tutorials, obviously, and um, some of you had reached out and said that you had like a difficult time figuring out just, just kind of overall what to do with the palette, and I said I'm... I, I sympathize because I know it's a really large palette. It could be a little bit more, I guess, daunting to use sometimes. Sometimes less is more when, you know, you don't wear a lot of makeup. If you have a palette that's too huge, you kind of are left thinking, I don't know where to begin. So I hope, I hope if you did have that and you experienced that at first, you kind of pulled through and you figured out an easy way to use it and incorporate it into your makeup routine because they really are beautiful palettes. So I just set that eyeliner, um, I didn't tell you, but with XO, it's this dark, the one of the darkest shades in the powder, um, just to lock that into place like that. So now let's switch to this eye. Same brush, by the way, it doesn't matter that this has a little bit of cream on it. So I'm just pressing this onto my eyeliner. I'm just gonna subtly Flick this out with my fingertip. And speaking of my fingertips, <clears throat> I got the best manicure of my life last week. And I don't, I have struggled with manicures probably my entire life. I don't have like the most beautiful hands. Um, and I also don't have like beautiful, thick, long nail beds. Like my, I always joke around that my hands and my fingernails are like a child's. So I got a Russian manicure. And if you don't know what that is, okay, let me just show you my nails because they look so good. They're still so fresh and new. Um, I clearly need lotion, but I got a Russian manicure and that means that they spend so much time on your cuticles and they actually cut your cuticle off. I know it's a little like, sounds pretty rough. And um, there were moments where it was a teeny bit painful. I'm not gonna lie, but I pulled through and I'm happy I did because literally the best manicure of my entire life and uh it took it took her two hours to do my nails well worth it i've never been so happy with the way my nails looked literally in my entire life they look so good and my nails are really hard to do because i have i have child fingers i really do um <laughs> oh you're so sweet thank you guys for the compliment but i if you saw them up close you'd be like yeah they're a little my hands are a little a little, little funky. Okay, curling my lashes with my, with my refer lash curler. I'm gonna prime my eyes, my lashes with the Dior 3D 
maximizer. Get a nice coat. I do like to focus this more at the root of my lashes to kind of build a thicker base. So I really like to push this into the base. Just like that. Oh my God, thank you, Sylvia. Nikki, you're literally my go-to here on YouTube. Oh, whenever I need a makeup look or advice on makeup, I search for you. you oh my God, I always recommend to my family and friends. Huge hug, thank you so much, Sylvia. And thank you for the super thanks. I'm just happy you have, I'm happy you find my channel helpful. And I love having you. So thank you so, so much for hanging out with us and being so supportive. And I can always use the shout out when people like suggest my channel to other people. Like that's how word of, that's actually how I built my makeup career is just word of mouth and being referred. And I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so lash primer is on. We're looking good. We're looking very funny. Like I have like snowfall on my eyelashes. We're gonna let that dry down. We're gonna go back to my my N16. I'm gonna try to find the one that doesn't have the cream shadow on it. Going back to my N16, I'm gonna now properly blend out the rest of this concealer. And you know, I have to say it, it, it looks, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks really beautiful underneath my eyes. It looks really smooth and yeah, it looks very flawless. Color is so great. Loving the color. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm choking, but, but I am. <laughs> so just blending out the rest of the creases. Now that I've let it fully kind of do its thing and self set like I like to do. I'm glad that I did that because it still is, it still is pretty wet. But that looks really good. Really happy with that concealer. You're gonna see me using this for sure. And I'm happy I got it at, you know, somewhat of a discounted price. Go back to my N14. I'm gonna just lightly blend out the nose highlight. I'm gonna push it onto my nose. And then we're gonna lock in the under eye concealer. And you know what, I wanna I want to use my, my go-to. I wanna use my go-to, which is, has been cherry blossom cake. It has that pink hue to it from Huda Beauty. So I'm gonna take a bunch of my cap. <clears throat> Just like that. We're not gonna use all that, but I just like to have it there. I'm gonna take a different N14 brush. Still dirty, but it's gonna it's gonna get the job done, don't worry. And we're going to lock that concealer into place. So let me just make sure it really is all blended out, no creases. Okay. Really excited to see how this is gonna wear. I have a busy day ahead and I'll be out and about. And so it's gonna be a really nice true test to see how it's gonna wear throughout the day. Look how pretty that powder just instantly smooths my skin. I don't know if you guys all heard too, but Huda Beauty just announced that they are now gonna be selling the same powder fragrance free. So the Easy Big powder is gonna come, I wanna say with fragrance and without. And for those that love the fragrance and the way it smells, I think it smells beautiful, personally. I know, unpopular opinion, but I think it smells like stunning. I love the way it, the, the fragrance is gorgeous to me. But they're actually selling the fragrance bottled, like as a perfume, which I thought was genius. Okay. As my laptop goes off. All right, we have a nice set base. Now what I want to do before I use this Rare Beauty soft pinch blush, hold on, there we go. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a little bit of blush underneath because I think this might be, oh, that actually might be a good amount of color. No, you know what? I take that back. That's going to give me enough color to wear just as a blush. So I'm going to grab 
my N15 brush. Thank you, Lee. Leanne, excuse me. Thank you for providing endless inspiration. Oh my God, thank you're so sweet. Thank you for the super thanks. And I'm happy to inspire. Okay, it's on my brush. This is what it looks like once it's dipped into. I believe it's the exact same formula as the highlighter that, that they have, like those really uh, blinding highlighters that are beautiful. So I'm assuming less is more, yeah. Oopsie, might have been a little too heavy handed. Let's see how much I can spread this out. Can you see that okay? Yeah, okay, that looks pretty. All right, so I would say a forewarning, okay? This might not be the most ideal blush if you have texture or larger pores specifically on your cheeks because I'm noticing I'm getting a little bit of emphasis on the larger pores and texture that I have right here. It's not like the most smoothing blush. So kind of just a forewarning. Just something to kind of chew on if you're considering this blush. My first impression is it might not be the best suited for texture because it, it's definitely going to it's going to kind of bring the focus to it a bit. So it's still really pretty and you're going to see me use it, but that's just my initial thought. I'm going to take a little bit on the bridge of my nose. <clears throat> okay. Pretty. Very pretty. We're going to switch to my N12 and go and finish the bottom lash line. I want to dip into just some of the soft powder shades in the palette that we used. So I'm going to dip into Allure and blend this on the bottom lash line just to finish up the eye look. Okay, that's pretty. Now dip into a bit of, and I think I'm gonna switch my brush to an Angie Han Flashy A504. Um, oh my God, Nancy, thank you so much. Hey, hey, Nikki, we love you. Oh, oh, we have so much fun. Hope you and everyone checks it out. Nancy, you're so sweet. I'm so happy you guys are enjoying the Facebook fan page. Honestly, it like melts my heart when I think about that fan page and it's just such a huge, I'm such a huge honor and I'm extremely flattered. Every time I think about it, you guys, I'm so unbelievably flattered. I do need to hop on there more often though. So thank you for the reminder, Nancy. Really appreciate it. So just blending a little bit of Smitten? Yeah, Smitten with that Angie brush. This is more of a soft shade just to kind of diffuse that bottom lash line. Now I want to do a little bit of brightening in my bottom lash line. My eyes feel like they're looking a little tired. So I'm going to use Coconut, my Sephora eyeliner that I love. Yeah, we needed that. We also need to finish with some mascara. But let me actually put some more eyeliner to tight line with. This is the Sephora. Also 12 hour wear eyeliner. These are 30% off by the way, so they're a really good deal. This is the shade Tiramisu. I'm gonna tight line just a bit with Tiramisu. <laughs> Woo, we survived that. Woo, that's always rough. <laughs> For mascara, to top off the Dior 3D Maximizer, I'm going to use the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. Um, this has been a favorite of mine. I believe this is also on sale during the Sephora Savings event. I, I know that they carry this at Sephora. I think this is an online exclusive though, so just a forewarning. I don't believe you can get this in store. Let's 
gonna finish up these lashes and then we're gonna do a bit of brow and lip and then it is question time dedicated full focus question time i promise that's actually my favorite time of the life is when i get to like fully be present and answer your questions i just clumped so much in this corner of my eye we're going to just take that away oopsie We're gonna move on. We have some brows to tweak and finish up. I'm gonna use my Build-A-Brow from Maybelline. This has become a staple in my life, in my pro kit, and a daily essential for me. So I'm going to just draw some hair-like strokes to finish up these brows. I already have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. I did pick up more. I picked up two more bottles of that, or tubes of that, excuse me, during the Sephora Savings event when I did my first little run on Friday. So I bought one for my Pro Kit and I bought a backup for myself because my mini is just now finally running low. It took forever for my mini to run low. And as you know, I've been using that thing every single day. So if you just want to invest in the mini because it's super affordable, just know that it will last you a really long time. I'll make sure I link it in this video too, just FYI. Almost done with brows. And then it's question time so soon. All right. Brows are on. I have a new lip liner that I, I really want to show you all. I got it from Mob Beauty. It was just released this past week. It's the shade M1990. So this is supposed to be a play and like it's inspired it's inspired by some of the most popular like 90, 90s lip liners. I want to say this is inspired by Spice from MAC. I'm not positive though, don't so don't quote me, but it's a beautiful, soft shade that I think is going to work really well with this eye makeup look. So, M1990 from Mob Beauty. Allergies are getting me. Okay, almost done. All right. Liner is on. I love the way this shade looks. And for the gloss, I have some more new ones from Huda Beauty. So, I think I want to use the shade that I used um, in a recent post. I still need to put like a, an official like video where I, I share this shade, but I got so many questions about a recent video that I posted and asking like what shade I'm wearing in the video. And this was one of the shades. It's the Faux Filler Gloss from Huda Beauty. It's the newest formula that she launched. Oh my God, thank you so much, Wanda. And um, it's in the shade Posh. So I'm going to top that lip liner with Posh. Oh, what cool eyeliners do you leave? oh what cool eyeliners do you use for tight lining um the uh, so many okay so the makeup by mario ones i use for tight lining a lot the sephora 12 hour wear ones that you just saw me use i use those a ton and the ones from nars and urban decay those are my go-to's for tight lining and just liners in general how pretty is that Be 
These are very tinted and they have a very beautiful smoothing, like lip line filling quality to them. They are a bit thicker, but they don't feel like goopy or kind of gross on your lips. So I really have been liking this formula. Oh yeah, so pretty. I love that. I feel like I'm missing just something. So bear with me. I feel like I'm missing a bit of like, like some bronze. I feel like I need a little more bronze. So excuse me for a second while I grab one thing. Hold on. So sorry. <laughs> I need a little bit more powder bronzer, I think. I think I'm just kind of missing something. So I'm going to use my soft um, baked bronzer from Laura Mercier. It's actually the matte radiance baked bronzer. I want to just buff a bit of this on. And the only clean brush that I have for a powder bronzer is my 107 from BK Beauty. So let's just finish up this look and then we'll answer some questions. I just feel like I'm missing a bit of color. <laughs> okay. All right, that feels a lot more complete. Okay, here is a look. Here are the eyes, the cheeks, I'm definitely going to get used to the cheeks. I feel like my, I feel like I have a bit more like texture showing through in the inner part of my cheek. I can get past it. It's still a beautiful color. It's still a beautiful formula. You're going to see me use it a lot, but that's just my like initial impression. I'm loving the lip. I love the eyes. The, the eyes are definitely like the showstopper in this look. So that was a blast. Let's now jump into questions. You're going to see me looking down a lot now because I need to read. <laughs> while you guys are asking the question. So let me just move on over. Sorry about that. And um, ask away. The look is complete. I hope you enjoyed it. But now let's get to some questions. If I missed them, ask me again. If you have the patience and you're still here, just shoot them over again because I'm I'm all yours now. Okay. Let's see. Nancy, thank you for the compliment. You're so sweet. I love the way it came out too. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, which Janessa Myrick's groundwork palette do you prefer? I mean, I think I'm going to probably prefer both, to be honest. It just depends on like whatever mood I'm in and what, what look I'm going for. The most usable one is definitely going to be like the original one because it's just filled with all those earth tone, beautiful neutrals that I, I love. Ooh, I'm missing a lot of questions. Whoa. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, Danessa Marek's Neutral Palette versus the Makeup by Mario Neutral Palette. I love the Makeup by Mario one. It's just my most used and just, it's such a easy palette to work with. So I would have to go with that one if you were asking me. Um, whoa, okay. Missing a lot. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Whoa, I can't read that fast. I need my glasses. Okay. What palette do you recommend for fair blue eyed daughter with periwinkle? Oh, for a prom dress, what palette do I recommend? Periwinkle blue. I would go for something like copper, to be honest. I would go for like um, like a beautiful, like rich copper type palette. There's one from Charlotte Tilbury. I always forget the name of it, but it like literally is like marketed for people with blue eyes. I would check that out. It's a quad, like just a little four palette, but go for coppers. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, that's a lot. Um, Nikki, why don't you use the Tom Ford shade illuminate on yourself? That's what you said in the Sephora recommendation video. Um, I'm so, I'm still debating the purchase to purchase or not. You know, it's hard to explain. Okay. It, and I think the, the short end of the answer that I could give you that makes the most sense is it's so expensive that I always have this thought in my head where if I'm going to spend so much money on a product I'm going to use it on my clients and um, I'm going to bring like that luxury experience to them. And when I, when I think about myself, I just feel like it's, this is going to sound really bad. Bear with me. I don't want to waste that $90 bronzer or using it on myself when I love my rare beauty and my LYS just as much. 
That's like the short end of the answer that I could give you, like the most simple answer. Um, I love for myself, every time I put on myself for a tutorial, I'm like, oh God, this palette, this bronzer is incredible. But um, I really just use it the most in my pro kit for my clients to, to bring them that beautiful luxury. Um, I'm considering the Danessa Marks foundation as it seems to seems the perfect stretchable foundation for putting over or under painting. Would you agree? Danessa Marks foundation. I think so too. I think Wendy, that's a, that's a great, like you said, very stretchable foundation. Absolutely. Or any tint of moisturizer is very stretchable as well. Okay. Hold on. How long should I expect a mascara to work, but slash not dry out? Is it two to three months? I always get disappointed when they dry out sooner than two months. Um, I'd say three months of continuous, almost daily use is what you could expect to get out of uh, one single mascara. You see, my mascaras last a lot longer because I don't use them every single day. I like switch between different formulas. But oh, Mitch just entered the chat. But make sure that you always close the lid tight. You have to give a proper high now. Oh, he's all fresh and clean and showered. Wow. Mm -hmm. Handsome. Uh, would love to see a session with Merit's. That could be, in yeah, I mean, I'm definitely open to doing a full face of Merit in the future. Okay, let's see. When should I toss loose powder? Five years too long. Five years is a bit too long, yes. Um, I would toss it just because you know, you never know the back, the buildup of bacteria that might be forming in your complexion products especially. Um, so I would definitely toss it. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that, but five years is, you got your money's worth for sure. Everyone's saying hi, Mitch. Um, what are your must use colors for Dior foundation? I'm trying to, hold on, I'm trying to build, ooh, hold on. I'm trying to build my pro kit and would love your feedback on shades you use the most. Please, I need help. You know, I think it's different for everyone. So styled Miss Glamorous, I love your name on here. You know, it's, I get asked this question a lot, right? I can tell you all the shades that I use in my kit and I will in a future video, I promise you. My kit's just always a mess from work. It's just always disorganized. It's always being packed and repacked. Anyway, it's, it's a hard question to answer because everyone's clientele is different. So the shades that I work and that I, that I use the most in my kit are based on the clients that I see the most uh, on a regular basis. So what works a lot for me and the shades that I use the most are based on my clientele that I see most often, if that makes sense. And it, so it's gonna be on a client to client, like what's your clientele? Are you doing a broad range? If you're doing a broad range of clients then you should have a broad range of shades in your kit, obviously, no matter what, you should be able to cover the lightest to lightest skin tone to the deepest of deepest skin tones. That's just, that's what your job as a makeup artist is to make sure you have every every shade covered. And the way you do it is you wanna get obviously one of the deepest shades and one of the lightest shades and then a few mid-tone shades sprinkled in between and you're gonna to wanna to rely on color mixing and being able to mix different undertones and different shades to make a custom shade for the person that sits in your chair. So that's why it's hard to recommend shades specifically because the shades I run out of that I use the most are based on the clients I see the most. But then I also have the each spectrum, each opposite spectrum to cover anyone else that might be with sit in my chair. Um, but to answer your question, I probably have about eight of the Dior foundations if I had to like guess off the top of my head. Um, my kit's over there, I could get up, but I'd have to leave the room basically. So I hope that helps. Sorry about that. That was a long-winded answer. Let me scroll to some more questions. Have you tried the Say New Concealer? It's what I have on right now. You can definitely rewind this video once it's aired, once it's like uploaded, you could definitely check back. I have it on. I cannot wait to see how it wears throughout the day. I've heard nothing but great things about it, so I'm really excited and hopeful for this, this uh, concealer because I did not like the original Say one. <laughs> Can you recommend a tool, a cool tone contour? I find it hard to find a good one on, oop, very fair skin tone. Yes, there's Amber from, for very fair skin, Amber from Fenty is a cream stick. It's like the match stick that I love and I use on my channel. I don't have it near me. Um, Amber is a really great cool tone shade for um, light to fair, fair to light skin tones to contour because it has a perfect gray undertone to it. What is my skin type? My skin type is oily combination. 
So I get pretty oily throughout the day, like very oily. But um, I also have like combination where I do get dry in certain areas. So oily combo. Um, okay, how can prevent the, t okay. How can you prevent the Sephora tiramisu tight lining from staining the coconut waterline? I always get brownish mesh mess down there. I don't, I don't experience that with the, the 12 hour ones from Sephora. I don't really experience them like coming down and, and ruining the tight lining that I have on the bottom. They're really long wearing formulas. So unless you're like maybe in a hot, humid, humid area where it's running constantly, or if you have like allergy, watery eyes where it's causing the liner to run, then that might be an issue. If you have that as an issue, you can always take a little bit of like a like-minded dark powder and push it up into where you have that tight lining to lock it into place. Justin says, shopping the sale and debating on getting the pretty grunge palette. I love an edgy look and I love black. Same here. What would you recommend? Um, what are you debating between? That pretty grunge palette is stunning. It really is stunning. And there's enough from Huda Beauty. That's the palette that we're talking about. And there's enough, let me show you it for right here. So this is a palette that Justin's talking about. So this is a pretty like well-rounded palette because it's not only like really cool and edgy, but it has a really beautiful mix of, excuse me, neutral, wearable, everyday tones here. And obviously like around here that you really do get a lot of like variety with this palette. Like you can do so much with this palette. So I do think this is a great buy. The shimmers are absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous palette. I would say if you get it, Justin, you're not going to regret it. But tell me what you're debating between two and I can help you out. Oh, debating between getting it in general. Is it worth it? If I think, I think it's worth it. I do. I, th I think if you're still building up your palettes and you want something like fun and different and edgy, then this is definitely a great one to check out. And Huda Beauty palettes are not like, they're not crazy expensive, which is good, but definitely get it on sale if you're going to get it. Yeah, it is a pretty awesome palette. Song, I agree. Song likes it too. Um, let's see. When will BKB brushes be restocked? Hopefully in the next three weeks is what I'm hearing from the brand. They're so kind. They give me updates all the time on like when they uh, foresee them like being restocked. So hopefully in the next few weeks, I'm so excited for them to be back. So, so excited. Do you have a video with Patrick Ta? To, wait, do you have a video with Patrick Ta? I, and I did do a full face of Patrick Ta maybe like a year plus ago on my channel. So definitely check that out. It's a really beautiful look. I love the way that look came out. Um, have you tried the uh, the Cali Ray under eye can corrector? No, I haven't, but I actually want to check it out because a lot of people are loving it. I think Allie Glines likes it and I, that, I feel confident that I'll like it if she likes it. Best face, face plumping serum under makeup. Two things I love. One thing is like an old school favorite that I've been using for since it came out. So probably like at least two years, maybe three years at this point, the Fenty milky toning essence that will plump your skin and give you deep hydration and beautiful glowy skin. And then you lock that in with just any kind of moisturizer and you're good to go. I also love this one from make Two that just came out. It's like a peptide plumping serum. It comes in a bright blue bottle. I used it, I think last week in my last tutorial and it's a gorgeous product. Um, Nikki, can you recommend a tinted moisturizer for combination oily skin in extreme humid weather? Ooh, the humid weather part is what gets me, but the one that I use the most and I love for my oily skin personally is the Tower 28, the Sunny Days. Um, it's a mineral sunscreen tinted moisturizer. I love this stuff. I think that is a fantastic one. Nikki, do you think the hourglass powders slash blushes will accentuate texture and acne scars? No, I don't. Are you, are you talking about like these? If so, you know, ones that have a high shimmer, like a high, thick, more intense shimmer. Whereas like these are more, excuse me, where's my hand going? <laughs> these are more soft focus, more blurring. The ones that have like a quite a metallic shine, these could accentuate pores. They could accentuate texture because they're a they're more of a thick shimmer, whereas these are more fine and blurring. So yes and no, depends on which one you pick from Hourglass. Song Park, what do you recommend on the new, uh, on the new Hourglass Vanish Press Powder? Should I get translucent or medium? Ooh. Um, I know we are very similar, I think. 
or shade skin type twins. Oh gosh. I have to look at it song. I don't want to recommend something that and speak too soon. I have to look at them more, but I think probably either one would work, but I have to look at them more. Maybe I'll pick one up today when I do my second round of Sephora shopping. Nikki, have you tried the new CL skin tint? I haven't. I'm curious about it. If you really recommend it, please let me know because I could be swayed either way. Um, I have been interested in trying it though, so maybe I'll pick that up as well. Let's see. Have you tried the new Lisa Eldred skin tint? It's beautiful. Nancy, I haven't, but I want to get that too. Uh, there's a lot of things on my list. I know it's excessive. Do I need more makeup? No, but I do feel like this is my job, so I need to, to pick up new things. Who makes Build-A-Brow? It's from Maybelline, and it's the best like $10 you'll ever spend on a brow marker. It is fantastic. Favorite mascara? Mine is Lancome Monsieur Big. Ooh, you know... My favorite high end is definitely the YSL Lash Clash. For drugstore, I'd say probably Maybelline Sky High has been like my top and go-to. Um, what other questions do we have? Sale is amazing, just got it. Okay, you're you're tempting me right now. You're definitely tempting me. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Tristan, thank you so much for shouting that out. Kelly, Carrie Kelly, thank you so much for the super thanks. I'm so sorry if I missed some of these. Okay. Oh, Susan Smalley. Hi, Nikki. Can I just say thank you? You have changed my life. Oh my God. B very bold statement. I've sent you a message on Insta. Oh no. Okay. All right, Susan, I gotta go check that out. Like right now. Thank you for the heads up. I will look for your message. Thank you for your kind words. Word. You're so sweet. Um, and thank you for being a supporter of the channel. When will you be doing a hair thinning video? Um, Kim is asking that, you know, it's still on my list. Priority wise, it's not on like the first priority right now to get it filmed, but I do plan on doing that in the near future, hopefully in like the next month or two, I'd say. Um, let's see. Would you say it's worth having both Patrick Ta blushes, not too much, and She's So LA? I already have She's So LA and wondering if I need both. In reality, no, you don't need both. They're very similar. One is, so the She's So LA has more brown in it, like more of a neutral earth tone to it. The other one has a teeny bit more pink, but I'd say if you have She's so, she's so LA, I'm getting tongue twisted, sorry, that I don't think you need both, just to be real. But if you're running low, maybe pick up this one instead, but you don't need both. Okay, let's see. Um, LM or HG pressed powder. Is that Laura Mercier and Hourglass? Let me know what you're what those abbreviations are. Would you, would love to still work with you? I have hooded eyes. If you need a model, oh, Justin, I love that. I love that you're like always um, offering yourself up. I appreciate you so, so much. I know I need to bring in more models. I have a list of people that are offered, that have offered to come in and be my model. So thank you for even like offering. I appreciate it. It's just been hard to schedule people to come in. Cause it's like, I film so sporadically in between work and meetings and commuting and all these things. So it's like, it's hard to like lock in dates and times and to bring other people into the mix because then you're dealing with someone else's schedule and their timeline and stuff. And it just, it's more tricky. That's just the reality. Okay. What waterproof eyeliner do you recommend for waterline? I love the Sephora 12 hour ones. Again, they're 30% off right now until the 15th. So they're really, really affordable. I really recommend those, but I also, I love the NARS long wearing ones. I love the Urban Decay ones. And um, I love the Makeup by Mario ones. Nikki, have you seen, or sorry, let's see. Paula White. Nikki, I see you use Fenty Lip Gloss and said it was your favorite. Was it Glass Slipper? No, it's Sweet Mouth. That's my favorite one that I use in my kit, Sweet Mouth. Um, okay, let's see. Hi, Nikki, any skin tint recommendations for normal skin? Um, gosh, I mean, so many. The Tower 28, I know I love this for oily skin, but obviously it's going to work for normal skin as well. It's going to work for any skin. And as far as like a tint, can I be honest with you? Most of my favorite skin tints I want to show you really quick are actually drugstore. So this one is by far one of my favorites. I grab this so often, especially on like a day off where I'm just like running out the door and I want something quick. It has SPF 50 in it. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfect, Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. 
A newer one that I love as far as like a skin tint goes, this one is gorgeous on and will stay put all day. The Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint is incredible, but probably my all time favorite, as you can probably tell I used a lot of this, is the L'Oreal True Match Nude. Gorgeous, gorgeous, very affordable. All You can find all of them at the drugstore. Okay, let's see. Laura Mercier or Hourglass Pressed Powders. Um, Amy, I have not used both of those enough to really give my full answer to that. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about the new Laura Mercier Pressed Powders. I haven't played with them enough. And the new Hourglass, I need to check out. So hang tight for that. I'll have to get back to you on that question. But very good question, Amy. Hi, Nikki from Naylor, Missouri. You are so, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for the sweet compliment, Amber. You're so sweet. Can you travel? Okay, this is a good question. Can you travel airplane with the one size set till uh, um on size one size until dawn setting spray, even though it's an aerosol type container? So this is a funny one. When I travel for work, I usually will check my personal stuff and then I'll carry on majority of my makeup. Um, my makeup kit, but there's always a bag or two that I put in my personal bag that I check and that bag always contains like lotions, too many liquids that I can't carry with me. And it always has my full size or at least my travel size of the one size beauty until dawn, because I know that if I get someone who maybe is following the rules very strictly through TSA, they're going to flag that and they're going to make me toss it. So I just don't risk it. So I don't know for sure if it would go through or not. I doubt it because they don't let aerosol spray cans unless they changed it. But I believe they don't let those, they don't allow those. Okay, I'm going to answer a few more questions and I'm going to let you guys hop off and enjoy hopefully your beautiful Sunday. Hopefully the weather is beautiful where you're, where you're at. Um, Nikki, best setting spray for dry skin. For dry skin, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip setting spray is fantastic. I also recently put my Lisa Eldridge setting spray. It comes in like more of like a soft aerosol spray. That one's great for like hydration throughout your makeup application and for refreshing your hydration throughout the day. So I love that one for dry skin. Okay, let's answer one more. Tom Ford Shane Illuminate Foundation, have you tried it? I have not. And I think, is that the one that's discontinued? Because there's one that's completely discontinued and sold out online at Sephora that I can't get my hands on. Um, oh, this is so sweet. Nikki, you made me believe that makeup is fun again. It, it Oh, fun and ageless. It is. Oh. Creamy shadow for mature skin. Any. Honestly, I love the ones from Chanel. They come in a cream pot. Those are beautiful. The Charlotte Tilbury cream ones are stunning. Doesn't matter what your age is. Chrissy Lee, mm -hmm. thank you so much for the super things. Hi, Nikki, mm -hmm. I have mature combo skin. Do you think I could use the M Cosmetics powder? Totally. The press one is great for all skin types. All right, well, I'm going to hop off. We've been out here a long time. I know you guys all have things to do and, and things to get done on your Sunday. But thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun. Stay tuned for next weekend. I'll be in Austin. I will go live. I'll keep you posted on when exactly the time will be because it will probably be a different time because I will be in a different time zone. I'll be in a hotel. So I'll keep you posted on that. Um, in the meantime, <clears throat> excuse me, as I lose my voice right in time for the end of this. In the meantime, leave me a comment below and let me know what you pick up at the Sephora sale. If anything, doesn't, no pressure, obviously. Um, and also don't forget to still continue to leave your ideas of what you want to see content wise on my previous live where I announced my creator trip. So really excited for that. Can't wait to see, show you guys all like the fun and behind the scenes stuff next weekend and next going into next week. That's going to be a blast. But until then, I'm going to hop off. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you all so much. Give me like 30 minutes. I'll have everything linked below in the description box and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, love you, Nancy. You're so sweet.